and again I'm just here with the look today I know it really doesn't go well together it's really loud but it was supposed to be for going out but I don't think I'm going out anymore because my friends went and they said it was bunk which means it's like empty um my lips are like feathering out a little bit which kind of sucks I don't know if it was the lip liner or if it was the lipstick because I used this lip liner before and it didn't feather on me so it might be the lipstick which is NYX Snow White I love these lashes they're um they're 106's enjoy my look if you can um if you like it I mean looks kind of like really over the top but I think you can work I have my foundation um, powder and my eyebrows done so I'm just gonna start off by priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The next thing I'm gonna do is put down a black base. I'm using this um, shimmery black from the Revlon Illuminous Cream Shadow Palette in Black Magic. So I'm just gonna uh, put this down on the lid and kind of smoke it out to get a base started. I just realized that I have to do both eyes because <laughs> I'm getting ready so I can't like do one eye and then like try to save time by doing one eye. Okay, so I'm just going to take my fingers and rub it out. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm just going to take my fingers and blend out the edge. Get it well blended because you don't want this base to stick out underneath everything else that's blended. You can use any blending brush you like. I'm just going to use my MAC 224 today because it needs some loving. And I'm going to take this color right here just to um, start putting down um, a shadow. And I'm just going to work that into the crease. You can start by putting the darker color on the lid. I'm just starting like this today because um... The 120 um, palettes, blues and stuff like that doesn't blend very well with the black, so I'm just gonna do this right now just to get try to get the tr blue out of it. And you wanna really blend this out because it's gonna be really smoky. I'm bringing it from my outer corner all the way into my inner corner, just using little circular motions. And once you start looking a little clown-like, like I am right now. <laughs> I'm going to start putting down uh, the lid color. I'm going to use um, MAC Carbon Black. For club looks, you want to keep it very dark, you know, since you're in a dark area and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't really want to put too much color on the lid. If I do have color, I like to put it into the crease or, you know, um, put it into the lower lash line. I'm just going to pat that on with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I think this look is going to be really crappy, but uh, we'll see how it all pulls together. I'm going to put that above my crease, or crease, my Asian crease. So meaning this is not my real one, it's the one I'm trying to have. I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend these out. Sorry my brushes are dirty, it's a, you know, I just got out of exam week, so... Um, hopefully you can forgive me because that is a very busy time in my life. Just gonna start blending those two together, or try to. This color, which I normally use to, um, blend out colors when I'm doing smoky eye, it's a little, um, dark charcoal color in the palette, so I'm just gonna pop that on. I hate this brush. Next, I'm going to try to find a shimmery color and pop it into my crease. I guess I'm going to take this color right here. Take the Sigma 224 and take a little bit of that. Just a little bit, not too much because you don't want too much shimmer. And then lightly work that in. on top of the charcoal color. Oh, I have too much. Just wanna kinda put that on top of the charcoal color and then overlay that on top of that blue I had. Blend that out before it gets too crazy. Well, it's kinda too late because it's already crazy. 
sorry if I'm out of the frame. I'm just a really big noob. So I just looked up and realized how terrible I look. So I'm going to try to tone that down. I'm going to use a highlight shade from the Forever 21 um, eyeshadow palette. Get some of that on my finger. And then work that underneath my brows to have a little base. Try to blend this out. I don't know why I chose this shade. And while I'm gonna working with creams right now, I'm gonna take the pearl shade from the Black Mal Magic palette and pop that into my inner tear duct. Working a little into my lash line. I really don't like highlight too much, so I'm going to take this nude shade right here and I'm going to put that as my brow highlight to mix it with my highlight color that just crapped up my whole look. So <laughs> I'm just going to take that with the 252 brush and um, pack that onto my under my eyebrow. And I try to take some the blue and fix wow that's like the worst look I've ever done in my life I'm such a failure what kind of guru am I the one time I did a similar look to this um, I had a whole bunch of comments that I had too much makeup on I'm probably going to get the same comment again but W.E. W.E. I'm going to take a Sigma 219 brush and um, a shimmery white shade from Stila. I'm just going to pop that on top of the white highlight that I put too much of on this side. I'm going to drag it into my lash line, my lower. I'm going to take my small Essence of Beauty brush and like a crease brush and start working some colors into my lower lash line. Yes, I'm just going to use... Um, this blue up here, this shimmery blue. I like to use shimmery colors on my lower lash line. And blend that with the shimmery white, that blue from earlier, this one. And I'll work that towards my outer. I'm just going to take more carbon black and work that um, towards my, like, blended with the last color in my outer lash line. Just try to smoke it out more. Okay, I'm going to put on some lashes and be right back. Oh, and um, this is my lash thing. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys. They're dramatic, but um, they're very tapered out the hairs themselves, so I'm going to use these. Okay, so now that I have those lashes on, I'm go just going to start um, contouring. I'm going to use this LA Colors Pressed Powder in Tan. And the reason why I'm using it is because it's very matte, and I'm just going to take this with a Sigma 168, excuse me, that's dirty. Tap that in there. Put it on my contour area, such as my cheekbone, underneath my cheekbone. I'm going to take my favorite blush, which is NARS Desire, and I'm going to use um, an SS187 so I can get a like little bit of coverage of this because there's so much blue going on. I don't want too much pink on my cheeks, so I'm going to lightly tap that on to assholes on my cheeks. Working it back. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection to try to um, blend. Oh, that's not the Complexion Perfection. Yeah, this one. Now you dust that on top. And then I'm just going to highlight using my Forever 21 bronzer right here. Dust it with a powder brush. My temples work my way down on top of my cheekbone, forehead, 
a little down in there. For my lips, I'm going to do a red lip because um, I'm doing a nautical thing. So um, I'll be right back with that. Alright then guys, bye.